Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the IDB Analyzer to work with benchmarks of achievement. Benchmarks are points along a distribution of achievement that have a particular meaning. They are used to describe what participants know and can do. Depending on the study, different terms are used, such as achievement levels, proficiency levels, etc. Benchmarks are the cut points that define these levels. Appendix B of the help manual lists the corresponding cut scores used in the major international studies. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website. One of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows and a data set for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, Please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you will receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting an analysis, you will first need to select the analysis type. The program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data. In the second step, you will need to select the statistic type. When you select benchmarks, you will be computing percent of the population meeting a set of user-specified performance or achievement benchmarks. It computes these percentages in two modes, cumulative as the percent of the population at or above given points in the distribution, or discrete as the percent of the population within given points of the distribution. For this last type of analysis, the IDB analyzer can also compute the mean of an analysis variable for those at a particular achievement level when the discrete option is selected. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. Compute the percent of students meeting the PEARLS achievement benchmarks or percents at or above 400, 475, 550, 625 on the proficiency scale. We'll compute the percent of students at each of the five groups defined by the PEARLS achievement benchmarks and we'll also compute the percent of students at each of the five groups defined by the PEARLS achievement benchmarks and their average motivation to read. To conduct the benchmarks analysis, first click on the analysis module, then select the data for the analysis. We're going to select merge PEARLS data in the examples folder of the IDB analyzer installation folder. For analysis type, we'll select student using student weights. For statistics type, we'll use benchmarks. Notice how the plausible value options is grayed out because 
you have to use plausible values for the benchmark's statistic type. For our first example, we're going to use the cumulative analysis type, two decimals. We'll do the analysis by country, and we'll do the analysis for the reading plausible values. For the achievement benchmarks, we'll choose the ones that are used for pearls. These can be found by looking at the help manual, appendix B. And we'll see that the cut scores for pearls are 400, 475, 550, and 625. So we'll type here 400, 475, 550 and 625. The output file we're going to call benchmarks cumulative. And we'll start SPSS. We can run this analysis by pressing Ctrl A followed by Ctrl R or by selecting Run All. You can follow the progress on your lower right hand side of the screen. So we have completed the analysis. Let's take a look at the output. Here we will see the following. We will see first unweighted descriptive statistics for the variables involved in the analysis. We will see weighted statistics. We'll see a log of the, of the progress of the analysis. And at the end, we'll see a report that tells us, by country, the number of people at or above each one of the cut points specified in the analysis, the sum of the weights or the estimate of the population size, the error of that population size, and the percent of people meeting each one of the specified benchmarks, together with the standard error. In our next analysis, we will do not cumulative, but discrete analysis, where we will be doing the same analysis by country using the reading plus all values, using the same benchmarks, 400, 475, 550, 625. Then we're gonna define our output file and we will call this benchmarks discrete. Start SPSS and we'll go run all. Once the analysis is complete, you'll have the following. You will have descriptive statistics unweighted for your analysis variables. You will have weighted statistics you will have a log of your analysis, and you will have the table with percent of people by performance group. So you have those that are below 400, from 400 to below 475, from 475 to 550, from 550 to 625, and those at or above 625, and the percent of people at each one of those groups. Notice that the cut points are the lower bound of the level. So since we entered 400, you'll get the percent below 400 and those that are from 400 to below 475. You also get a table with the percent of students at each one of the levels. For our last analysis type, we're gonna be using discrete with analysis variables because we want to compute not only the percent of people by achievement level, but also the average motivation to read. So notice that now we have this option to select an analysis variable and we're gonna search that for the variable in the description, motivate students motivation to read. We're going to add it to the analysis variable 
For our possible value, we'll select reading. For our achievement benchmarks, we'll use the same ones as we've used before, 400, 475, 550, 625, and we'll call this benchmarks discrete with analysis. Variable. Start SPSS. Run all. Once the tables are done, we have in our results file, we have again descriptive statistics, unweighted, weighted descriptive statistics. We have the log of the processing, and notice that we did the analysis five times, once for each possible value with 150 replications. And in our table where we're reporting the results, we have for each country, by performance group, the number of people, the sum of the weights, meaning the population estimate. We have the percent of people at each one of those performance levels and the standard error. And we have their average motivation to read with, this, with the standard error and the standard deviation. You also see the percent missing, meaning the percent of people at that group that did not have, for whom we didn't have a motivation to read score. This table will be followed by two graphics, one that displays in a line, uh, a line graph displaying the average motivation to read by performance group, and the next one displaying the same information in a bar chart. And the last graph will have a cumulative bar chart where you have the percent of people by country at each one of the achievement levels. The last piece of information that is worth noting here, it has to do with the results that are output, outputted to the directory. You will see that for each analysis, you'll have an Excel file with the results. So you have for each country, uh, the analysis variable by reading achievement, the achievement level, and you have the number of people at each achievement level, the estimate of the population, and a series of statistics that were reported previously in the SPSS output. Additionally, you have a file ending in the word SIG, S -I -G, where you have significance testing by level between countries. So this will allow you to compare whether the percent of people in at below 400 in Australia and Bulgaria are significantly different. And you will see the comparison for the percent, and you'll have the, the difference in the percentage. And you will also have whether those below 400 differ in their motivation to read with the corresponding t-test. For more information on the meaning of each of the entries in this file, please refer to the user manual. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IBB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IBB Analyzer.